Check this out right here. On this enclosure, I use two two-inch round ports. A common misconception is that a pair of two-inch round ports is going to give you the same area as a single four-inch port. That is not the case. Let me show you. Here I've got two circles, a four-inch diameter circle and a two-inch diameter circle. If I move that two-inch diameter circle into the four-inch circle, obviously, yes, it's smaller. But how much smaller is it? Check this out. I can copy and paste this circle and also fit a second small circle inside of the larger circle. Going from a four inch down to a pair of two inches isn't going to give you the same port area. Here's the math showing how it works. If I've got a four inch diameter port, I'll have an area of 12.57 square inches. If I have a two inch diameter port, I'll have an area of 3.14. And the ratio of the four inch to the two inches is actually four. So a two inch diameter port actually has a fourth of the area of a four inch diameter port. And that ratio is not going to change if we make the diameter of the ports larger. So if we had a six inch diameter port compared to a bunch of three inch diameter ports, again, the ratio doesn't change. Here in this cell, I'm just dividing these two areas, right? Kick it up to any number you want. Kick it down to any number you want. That ratio is not going to change. So if you want to go from a big eight inch round port to a bunch of four inch round ports, you'll need four of them to get the same area. That's really important and here's why. Let's say hypothetically you've got a four cubic foot box tuned to 36 hertz and you're going to use one big round eight inch port. When you hit calculate, that one eight inch port is going to be 20 and a quarter inches long. It's going to give you 50 square inches of port area. But if we go back up here and we kick it up to four, four inch ports, and hit calculate. We have the same 50 and a quarter inch port area, but now the port is 23.18 inches long. Those individual ports have to be longer. Sometimes multiple small ports are what you need to get the port to fit in the box. Sometimes you can fit one large port. Taking things full circle, no pun intended, right here is the formula for the hydraulic diameter. As luck would have it, four four inch ports are gonna give you the same area as one eight inch port. But the four four inch ports are gonna have a hydraulic diameter of four inches. So you're gonna get a bigger hydraulic diameter if you use one big port. I'm not sure how much that matters because you already know from earlier in the video that if you have four smaller ports, each of those ports are going to be tuning one fourth of the area of the enclosure, which is why those ports are longer. Ultimately, the decision to go with one large port or multiple small ports boils down to fitting everything inside the box. Just make sure you maintain enough port area and be aware that those smaller ports are going to have to be longer in order to get the tuning frequency that you're shooting for.